Hello everybody and welcome to The Daily Splat. Uh, today I would like to talk about the weighty issue of the internet, or more specifically, the weight of the internet. For you see, the internet does have weight to it. Um, obviously it's passed around through electrons and the accumulation of these electrons means that the internet actually does have a sort of measurable weight. The reason I want to talk about this is um, there was a story I heard once, uh, I believe it was from the host of the Morning Stream podcast, uh, Scott Johnson, um, I was telling a story about he bought his mother uh, sort of an like an electronic reader or a Kindle, that sort of thing. Um, you know, basically you store electronic versions of books on there, you just carry that around rather than lugging around five or six heavy, you know, books. Um, she had taken to only putting three or four books on at one time because she thought and felt that the device was actually heavier um, if she put more books on, thinking that the data weight of the books was the same as the actual weight. And, you know, Scott was just like, oh, mum, you're being silly. And, you know, she was being silly. There wasn't any noticeable difference in the weight. But data does have weight, and particularly a big collection of data like the internet also has weight as well. Uh, the whole of the internet uh, is on approximately 530 to 550 billion trillion electrons. That number is a lot of zeros. Um, so, it is, you know, you put all those electrons together and it does actually have weight. It weighs about 50 grams, which is the same as a strawberry. I'm not saying all the internet is a strawberry, but it weighs about the same, which is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Uh, hopefully, you'll tune in tomorrow for more. And until then, bye. Say bye, internet. <laughs>